Hi everyone, welcome to episode two of Vintage Made Modern. Today we are going to take a look at the second chapter of my Vintage Notions book. At the beginning of each chapter is an essay I called Modern Notions, where I, I reflect on a Mary Brooks Picken essay that can be found a few day, pages later. The theme this chapter is love, the non-romantic kind, and the essay is the story of Mary's uncle Like, titled The Understanding Heart. So I thought I would share how I discovered these essays. When I found issues of the Women's Institute Inspiration Newsletter, I found this little ad mentioning a book, Thimblefuls of Friendliness, filled with Mary Brooks Pickens' cheering, comforting articles, her choicest writings assembled in a single volume at the price of 75 cents. Mary's great nephew originally shared a photocopy of the book with me, and I eventually was able to buy my own copy on eBay. I realized how timeless and valuable these essays were and decided to focus the Vintage Notions books around them. Next, I wanna share some of the textiles that were featured on the pages. The edge of the hanky is what runs along the side of the page. So I'm gonna show you that hanky and a few others from my collection. So here it is. You can see how we use the edge on the page. This is another hanky. Um, what in my collection, what I like about this is just unexpected color combination. The brown with the red roses. And then some of my favorites are actually these printed one color designs. This one has just a really fun, kind of a contemporary looking rose or flower. And then this one has a combination of the pink and the floral border. And notice here how sometimes we'll get a really interesting border on the hanky or, and sometimes we'll end up just with the traditional square. So just things for you to look at while you're hunting for treasures like these. So I also wanted to share with you another project. Um, hankies are something that we've worked a lot with over the years at Indigo Junction. We actually published a book based on hankies and I'm gonna share that with you here quick. This is called Hanky Style and this book features projects, everything from clothing to accessories. And what I'm gonna show you first here are a couple of the simple projects that were in the book. Um, this one is a belt that you can see where we just pieced the um, hankies together and then we used a D-ring closure. Super simple and fun to make. Great just with jeans and you know a fun t-shirt and maybe a scarf. And then we also have move these aside. We also have two little projects here that are just eyeglass cases. Again, super simple to make. Um, and think about if you have maybe a damaged textile, these might be a way to cut off a piece of the textile that's damaged and make something new and fun with it. Um, and have a remembrance maybe of a family member. I know my grandma had a box of hankies that um, I kept and I still have, and it's just a wonderful memory and a treasure. So keep in mind the fun you can have with hankies. Now I'll move on to another page of the book that has textiles in it. You can barely see in the background of this page, faded in the background is actually a pillow that we actually took a picture of and scanned and here I will show you some fun details on it. So this again was a hanky and made into this beautiful pillow that just buttons up the back, um, mother of pearl buttons. And the detail I wanna show you on this is along the edging with the rickrack. You can see here how we have both on the larger rickrack, we have a like running stitch, a cute little stitch um, 
along the edge of the larger rickrack. And then on the smaller rickrack, we actually did a whip stitch around the rickrack that adds kind of a, the an illusion almost of like a candy cane stripe for lack of a better description. Um, I also wanted to note how we framed this pillow with an edge of lace. So this was one of those square hankies that I man mentioned before, and we were able to edge it with a nice lace um, trim there. So, and look at the beautiful color. I mean, I love hankies. Find treasure hunting for them is so much fun. So, and there's thousands of them out there for you to choose from. In fact, when we did our hanky book, we, we actually, one of the reasons we did it was because Moda had produced a line of reproduction hankies and a hanky fabric line that we were able to then incorporate into the book. So um, th some of those may be out on the market still as well. Um, in the Modern Notions essay, I actually talk about Valentine's. In the 1800s was when the paper valentines started to be produced and took off. And I have collected many, many valentines over the years looking at beautiful designs and graphics. This valentine is special to me because number one, I love the little angel on it and the metallic hearts are printed, um, which is a unique detail this image was one of the original vintage workshop images that I collected years ago. Um, so I thought I'd share that one with you. And then I grabbed a few more of my favorites. So I'm gonna start out by showing you these two because they have really interesting, um, not only graphics on the covers, the sweet little girl, but then beautiful line art in the inside of the card and cute little verses to go with them. So this one was to Lucille, I see, see. And here's another one, the little guy with the heart behind his back. And then you open it up to this cute little roses are red, violets are blue verse. And a couple more. This one I loved because I love silhouettes. And um, this was a cute little greeting just simple, and then again inside a cute little verse. Some of these I think we posted on Instagram earlier, so be sure to keep up with us on Instagram if you wanna get closer details of some of these things. And then, one more. This one is a postcard style, and little details, like just the little row of the hearts. Um, sometimes when I'm hunting or treasure shopping, I look for little details like that. So there's the Valentines. Uh, next up, I want to show you one more detail from the book, and that would be the opening image that we you see in this chapter. Um, what I, and again, this is the thimble full of love, but I thought it would be fun for you to see the original fashion service image that we used to create this page. And you'll also understand a little bit about the work that we put into this book, whether it be in graphic design work or um, cleaning of the images. So this is the actual Women's Institute publication that was the Fashion Service Magazine, Spring Fashions. And you can see where we use this graphic and we, we obviously, there was a hole here, we went in and cleaned it up, um, but the graphics are really timeless and, and pretty fun to work with. And, and this again is, as I mentioned, the um, essay that Mary Brooks Pickin wrote about her uncle like. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Vintage Made Modern. I hope you've learned something new today and you're inspired to do something creative. I will ask you if you would sign up for our newsletter at Indigo Junction and Amy Barrickman will keep you up to date on everything we've got going. And if you subscribe to YouTube and you click the bell, you'll get notifications when I put up new Vintage Made Modern videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.